The Extraordinary Life of Mary Ward As we celebrate the feast day of the Venerable Mary Ward, we thank God for this wonderful gift of Mary Ward. On this special day, as we watch a presentation on the life of Mary Ward, let us reflect on her life, the struggles she went through and the rejections she faced. Within her was a fire for God and His cause. It is this fire that made her what she was in her lifetime, a woman beyond compare. Mary Ward's is a unique story of courage and a remarkable vision of women's role in the church and society before its time. Mary was born and brought up in Yorkshire of a noble family at a time when Catholics were being persecuted for their faith. Mary's close relatives were martyred for their faith but stood firm in their support of the Catholic faith. Mary Ward was a woman of prayer who sought to do only God's will. She was inspired to go beyond the cloistered convent walls to serve the people where they were. In 1609, Mary dared to found an order of religious women dedicated to active service modeled on the rules of Saint Ignatius with a related spirituality for women, which was non-monastic. Mary set up communities and schools in many cities of the European continent and her sisters were sent undercover on the English mission to support the priests in hiding who ministered to the people in spite of persecution. Society at this time considered women incapable of doing anything good. Her new venture was therefore expected to fail. Mary refused to believe that women were incapable of great things. Instead, she said, It will be seen in time to come that women will do much. For daring to live in defiance of centuries of Catholic teaching, Mary Ward was imprisoned by Pope Urban VIII as a heretic, a rebel and a schismatic. She was jailed for three months her sisters disbanded and her houses closed. Mary Ward's vision of life for women religious was cherished by her followers who continued her work undercover for over a half century till in 1703 Pope Clement XI approved of the rules of the institute with much modification. The Reto sisters gained recognition in the 19th century. They took the name Institute of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Not until 1909 did the church recognize Mary Ward as founder of the institute. But it was only with the Second Vatican Council that the full flowering of Mary Ward's vision was complete. Mary Ward was declared venerable by Pope Benedict XVI on 19th December 2009, who himself is a past pupil of Mary Ward's sisters. Mary Ward's family now extends across the globe in all continents over the centuries, in schools, colleges and a wide variety of pastoral ministries. Her sisters have fulfilled her vision that women in time to come will do much. These were the ministries of IBVM, schools and colleges, social service centers, shelters for the abused and homeless, retreat and spiritual life centers, rural and urban parish ministries, village developmental work, working with prostitutes, as counselors, 
in advocacy and lobbying at the local and national levels and the United Nations. Mary Ward's charism, freedom, justice, and sincerity.